Hey guys, Andy Tran here with the Inner Bark Outdoors channel. If you guys are new to the channel, I do two videos a week on a wide variety of things from survival, outdoor, DIY, and reviews like today. So today I wanted to do a, a review video on the Gerber Complete. This is a kind of like an eating tool set that Gerber uh, came out with uh, I believe two shot shows ago. And so they sent it to me, uh, so just full of disclosure, they did send this to me uh, to review and test and see how I liked it. The Complete travels as a nested package with an overall length of 7.75 inches and weighs in at 2.3 ounces, which means it's fairly compact and lightweight for backcountry travel. I use it constantly at work and it disappears when I put it in a cargo pocket. Its components consist of a spatula, spoon, fork, and a little multi-tool. The spatula has a channel on either side to nest the complete together and also to turn it into a set of tongs. All right, so this is how it kind of stays packaged. So you have the spatula on the bottom and then you can either put the fork, uh, the spork or the spoon on top of that and then the little tiny multi-tool on top. So it has a little bit of a, a detent right here, which kind of holds everything in place. And then when you're wanting to go, you just kind of flex everything and then push the, uh, the tools out. Boom. And then so that's, that's the way it travels. And then to turn it into uh, a pair of tongs, you just turn your spatula over and you'll notice that there's also a detent right there and also a little tiny detent spring right there on both the spork and the spoon and click it in and there you go. So in order to break this thing down, you just go in the reverse order, pop it out, wash, do your, do your dishes and all that stuff. And then when you're ready to go, you stack them just like that and then find the bottom side of the spatula and press everything and flex it all together. The only thing that, uh, you know, is kind of a bummer is that if you lose or don't want to put all this stuff together, it doesn't hold itself together. So you have to stack all three in there for it to lock solidly. The spoon is definitely on the larger side. It's closer to a tablespoon, maybe a little bit bigger. And the angled tip helps reach the corners of containers and camp cookware. The spork is the exact same as the spoon, only this has stabby stabby bits at the tip. On the spatula, you have a silicone squeegee for cleaning pots and pans. And on the other side is a little bit of a serration for light cutting. The body of the spatula itself is made of a heat resistant nylon. The multi-tool is actually a pretty neat little thing. It has a bottle opener, a can opener, a bag cutter, and on the other side is a vegetable peeler. Let's see how this does in the field. Hey, check it out, I just saved a little bug. The bag cutter helps if the tear tab gets messed up or you want to shorten the bag to make it a little bit easier to eat your meal. Overall, it works. Not much to say about that. Yummy bits. Even if you're just boiling water for freeze dried food, the tongs really help with lifting the lids off of pots. The benefit of having both a spork and a spoon is that you have more cooking tools at your disposal, which is nice so that you're not deconstructing your tongs every time you need to use something to stir. Over the course of testing the BioLite stove, I was using the Complete. The tongs are best used for this application since you'd otherwise need a full-size spatula to flip a steak. It holds stuff pretty well and saw no damage when I was using it with cast iron. The veggie peeler itself is more of a vegetable scraper. Not much of the food is wasted with the peel, which is a good thing, but don't expect it to get through thick skin very easily. And overall, the can opener works okay. 
It lacks the edge that a P51 can opener has, so progress is pretty slow. So overall, I really like this eating tool set. A couple things that I would change about the Complete if I had the power to do so, and mind you, I've been using this for several months now. Um, I would change the anodization that they have on the tools. You can clearly see that I use the spork more than the spoon by the wear on it. I don't know if it's how I'm cleaning it or what. Um, I'm not using any abrasive soaps or anything like that on it, uh, but it just wears uh, pretty heavily. And so I would change that. And then if possible, I would also change the texture, at least on the, uh, the mouth contact areas to be polished. Um, if you're someone that is uh, kind of iffy about textures, that might be something to consider if you're gonna be uh, buying the complete. But overall, I think it's a really good package. It's, it's awesome because they can actually be used for two people. You know, you kind of have to fight for who gets a spork and who gets a spoon, but overall, this thing is awesome. Um, and the little tiny knife on the side of the spatula um, actually does cut steak pretty well. So what I found out is that if you can bite through it with your teeth, you can definitely cut through it with this. But um, yeah, if you guys have any comments or questions, you can go ahead and message me direct, either through Facebook or Instagram, or comment down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and also check my Facebook, Instagram, and other social media. It really helps me know these are the kind of videos you wanna see. But as always, take care out there, bye.